The role of power factor correction is to offset reactive power use from linear inductive loads. A common example of that is an induction motor. Now, whenever that's connected to the grid, it's going to be drawing a magnetising current. Now, usually the grid will be supplying that, but if you've got a power factor correction unit, that will instead supply that current, and you'll actually reduce your overall current draw from the grid. Now, depending on what tariff system you're on, that can actually save you money. In this demonstration, we've got a wound rotor motor connected and a power factor correction system. Now, in this case, the wound rotor motor isn't actually connected to a load, so we're only energising its stator. However, let's do that. So you can see the current draw is approximately 80 amps. Now let's turn on our power factor correction system. Now the power factor correction system senses the current and the voltage and how they relate to each other and switches in capacitor banks as appropriate. And you can see that the current drawn from the grid has actually gone down to near enough to zero and yet you can see that the current draw by the motor is still 80 amps. So, as I was saying before, you can see that the power factor correction system is supplying the 80 amps to the motor. Power factor correction can be used across multiple industries, wherever you've got a lot of inductive loads, for example, in refineries and manufacturing plants. These units are available Australia and New Zealand wide through the NHP branch network. For further information, please contact your local NHP sales representative.